Hey, welcome to Sanchez. Sanchez up my rant today, yes. Who needs to talk to a fucking controversial football? Today's controversial subject? Football black managers. Why aren't there enough in the game? Who knows? Are they good enough? Maybe. Are they playing racist cards? Who knows if they're playing racist cards or not? Let's see how many black managers there have been. John Barnes, remember him? Celtic. Good, good player. Crap manager. Viv Anderson, not on Forest. England, right back or left back. Good coloured player. Manager, not too good. Chris Ramsey, QPR in recent years. Not given a fair crack in my opinion. Chris Powell, Charlton Derby, another good manager. Keith Cullen, very good man. And one of the best <coughs> coloured black managers. Keith Alexander, Vrow Logue, Mansfield, whatever, about 15, 20 years ago. Not many people know about him. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, good at Burton. We're going to give him the cube. In my opinion, Paulings didn't do so well. Good player, doesn't make you a good manager. And Sol Campbell, good player. Why did he get the job? Played for four jobs before and then started playing the racist card. Oh, I'm black, I should be given the job. Unfortunately, you went to the ring, you got no experience, never people had more experience than you were, uh, so, and got the job. You don't need talk talk or whatever. Sanchez is more controversial. Give me the job on talk talk or anything. Get me on the fucking Sanchez chat or on the radio or on fucking BBC. Get shot at Valley then again or whatever. Get me on. Get me in the jungle as well. But yes, do cut a player think, oh, I'm not sure it's not fair. I ain't playing the racist car. I've been for five jobs or not. If I went to a job, doesn't matter how many people were in front of you, they were better than me, they should get the job. They have my new colour. Let's not play the card, boys. Let's see. Also, tell you another thing on football. Let's have a look at the fucking England the national team. Or oh, too many fucking foreigners in the Premier League. Our English players can't get in. That's the reason why you can't get good because the foreign players, well, you can't have it both ways, lads. There's even too many foreigners over here to play better football than what the, the, the crowd would have want. Or there's not enough. So, gee, the English players are shit. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're not going to have to get in the team and foreign players are better than you. Too bad, that's what the people pay. How many British players are in most teams? Man United, I think there's about two. Chelsea, Arsenal, nil. Cardiff, I think I got two. And let's also face racism on the pitch. Apparently, someone threw a banana at the Spurs Arsenal game. Hmm. No one said what colour he was. Because Arsenal played, he scored. He threw a banana. Yes. Maybe he didn't have nothing else with him. He was angry and he was diabetic, so he had to take him a fruit in. He threw a banana. No one said what colour. Everyone assumes he was a white guy. What do you mean a coloured guy and threw a banana at another coloured player? That would be racism? No, but they make fucking big issues out of it on the papers. Yes, but banana was thrown. Wrong. Shouldn't have been done. But as I say, there's too much going on. A tubby footballer. There's quite a lot of them in the Premiership and lower leagues. They're running along fucking... Someone throws a fucking Mars bar at them. Everyone thinks it's funny. Oh, that fat bastard. Do you know what the best thing to do? Like they did in France, a colour player, someone threw a banana on the fucking pitch, he picked it off the floor and fucking head went like, nom, 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 to the crowd. I think he played for Nice. He got in the trouble for doing it and he was black. I mean, what the hell's going on? He's taking the piss and saying, yeah, you throw a banana at me, I'm going to eat it. Yeah, because I'm hungry. No. Also, I remember a couple of years ago, Carter City played Swansea. Lee, fuck, fucking bastard, Tom, no, not Tomlin. I've forgotten his name, Lee, fucking, always scored, fucking shortical, scousical bastard. I remember a Cardiff fan throwing a pie in the, in the game at him. What did he do? He scored, he caught the pie, and he yet it. Funniest thing I've fucking seen in years. That's what you do, cash and go. Oh, he threw it back, you'd be in trouble. Yes, it's it fucking mad. It's absolutely madness. So the crowd, ask yourself, PC or not a P? Call Sanchez. Text Sanchez. Is Sanchez right? Is Sanchez being a racist bastard? No. Or is he? Yes. Let me know. Text Sanchez. He's got my number. Call me. Text me. Fax me. Kick me in the bollocks. I don't give a shit. 
But just let me know, this has absolutely been going on. And it's been making a disgrace of it, and I'm sick to death of it. Also, managers, football managers, I think they do great. And I'm not. I'll name three. Alex Ferguson, fantastic manager, shit footballer. Bob Paisley, another shit footballer, great manager. Neil Warnick, hey, not the best footballer. Good manager in the Premiership. People disagree with me on that, but he's won seven promotions. Yes, call me, as I say, text me, let me know your opinions. Hey, Sanchez the twat, don't answer that, because he probably yell at us more than likely yet. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Get in contact me, get me my show in the air. Give me a match of the day, get me on Talk Talk, or as I say, Talk Bollocks, fucking to him. It's all good fun. Give us your opinion. And anyway, it's time for me to go now. So I gotta go have a nice glass of wine and chill out. Because these people on fucking radio don't want me to talk. Fucking Alan Brazil and fucking Darren Goffin, who's that fucking idiot on talk. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, call Sanders, I'm more fun.